into Vlogmas Day 10. Wow, we're in the double digits. It's almost Christmas. Seriously, only 14 days until it's Christmas. Wow. I know the weather has turned a bit colder, but still. Feels like maybe October, November, but definitely not deep December. Or, well, deep 10 days in December. Um, but hey, we're here. We're opening advent calendar, so it's definitely December. And let me start with yesterday's a colorful advent calendar. I've been super excited to see today's packages because the thing in there, I had to keep a secret for pretty much six months, maybe longer. So horrible, seriously. There's more secrets in there, but this one was a hard one. I was just super proud how it turned out. So if you see it, let me know what you think of it. And we will discuss it tomorrow when I open that package. For today we have, or the ninth, so yesterday we have Mojito to go. And a candy cane. For the uh, Clipper Tea Advent, it is licorice and peppermint. I love peppermint, but I hate licorice. So this is gonna be an interesting one. I am drinking from my Will's mug. Yesterday's green tea and a lemon tea. Whales. And Beans was sleeping upstairs. But he just came down because, of course, I started to talk. How dare I start without him? Ah, yes, 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 yes. We're gonna come along. Um, La Crête by Bulot had not the regular square, but a very slim and long thing. And this is every day. And it is a sweet licorice. Very curious. It feels a bit like chewy, so I hope I can eat it with my braces. Well, I take them off for eating, but with the attachments on my teeth, I hope they don't sink in that licorice and go off. I might uh, give it to Robert. Spectrum fiber today has a very pretty one again with pink and orange. This time it's a bit darker, like a bit purplish in there. Very interesting. Then, in my little bag of fiber, hi Binks. Yes, you came. I have a rooibos tea, a lint ball, and a little bit of floof, a bit autumnal, orangey, and brownish, yellowish shades. Very pretty. Everything's, yeah, it's very pretty. Yeah. Um, Parrot Cat is at it again. Seriously, that's his favorite place, and I have my hands free, so I'm okay until it starts hurting. He weighs four and a half kilos, give or take. Um, so, yeah. It is not light. Robert had a lint ball. He told me, took it upstairs, and he is eating it now. <laughs> um, and this beer, looking very interesting and colorful there. Uh, it is a pineapple dipa called Pineapple Slice. And it is produced in Norway by Lervik. No. Very interesting. I wonder if he likes it. Um, a few days ago, I think it was it, day five, we had a beer with cranberry and coriander. It was a sour and I told Robert yesterday that I would like a beer. I have my own shelf in the fridge uh, with beers Robert doesn't like. 
and um, he was like, yeah, I'm going to get my next in the advent calendar. And I was like, yeah, I, I would like something um, white or sour or something. I'm not feeling up to black heavy and sweet. Um, so he came back, brought me a beer from my shelf and then got his one and he saw a cranberry on it and he was like, wait, maybe I don't like this one and you can have this one. And he was right. Yes, it was definitely not up to his taste. Um, like someone said in the comments, it was not his cup of beer. <laughs> um, so I drank his beer and I thought it was okay. I gave it a three out of five stars and um, yeah. So Robert took something else from his shelf and uh, put the next one cold from the advent calendar. And now we have to wait until I think number nine. Was that yesterday? The sour, the, the geuze one. Well, at least we have to wait a few days. Um, when he doesn't like his beer, I drink it usually. Or I say, please take another one because I don't feel like drinking beer today. But we always solve it unless it's really disgusting for the both of us. Um, Right, I wanted to show you knitting. Oh, hello. Come here. If you meow, I want attention. You can get attention. My camera's running. Are you okay? Little missus was a bit, was a bit sick this morning. Mm, she puked twice. Her, she has a very sensitive stomach, so. The least bit of whatever I don't know makes her puke. So, yeah, that was enough. Good, because I wanted to show you my knitting. Um, yesterday evening, I managed to finish up the ribbing and all, and do the setup row for the body. So I have here a lot of ribbing. And then there is a stockinette short row. So I still have a few short rows to go. This is the center point. Um, you can't see it because it's all bunched up on the needles, but it is a V-neck and it will be pretty. I started with a semi-solid mermaid's tail because I wanted the ribbings all in a, the same color. And then I am now knitting with Treasure Hunt. I had a mini in the advent calendar, but I also had a skein that was still uh, usable. So I was like, I will save the mini for maybe a, a swap next year with an advent calendar or whatever. But I thought it would, would definitely work if I just go for the ball. Um, I'm almost at the end of this stripe. And last night there was a launch by SpaceX. We also watched it the night before, but then it got scrubbed or actually it just didn't ignite. So um, yeah, Robert is a uh, big fan of all the SpaceX launches. I actually turned into a fan as well. <laughs> Yesterday it was a bit of a bummer, um, especially because it was at 11.30 uh, p.m. So Usually we would be sound asleep by then. Um, last night it seemed to be like it would be around 10 and then it got cancelled two minutes before or at least the countdown got cancelled and they held the uh, launch because there was an idiot in the airspace apparently. Um, they reset the timer and about an hour and a half later they went yay um this was a test launch and i made a photo of how it looked on my bed because i was a bit bored and i was wide awake uh, in comparison the night before i fell asleep at like 11 15 and woke up at 11 30 when it did not launch just 30 seconds before i was like oh wait i was watching something you know that when you fall asleep watching TV. Um, right, so yesterday I was wide awake. So 
I started hand winding yarn. I managed two balls of yarn. Uh, 20 grams is actually a lot when you wind it by hand. The 10 gram ones are done in a jiffy, but these take their time. So I'm prepared now. I have my ball winder and my <laughs> umbrella swift ready to wind this lovely lot. Um, so yeah, here are all the minis from the past days together. And I'm guessing that it is pretty obvious where this is going. Somehow. Um, what you hear in the background is a noisy Leia at the attic stairs. And Robert having a conversation with her probably. And Mr. Bings is back here. Um, so yeah, I have these six to wind into uh, little cakes. Um, and I'm going to do that with my little ball winder because it's just, I'm not going to wind them all by hand. I was just lazy yesterday. Um, I didn't want to knit in bed because I have to uh, count stitches and everything. And I was paying attention to the launch. But it did give us um, pretty funny footage. Um, I hope the photos are a bit good because I took them with my old tablet. Um, I don't take my phone to bed because then I keep looking at it at night as well. And that is not how it's supposed to be. Um, so I have an old tablet that doesn't have that much uh, social media on it. And uh, it only has the game I'm playing and Instagram and a browser. And uh, yeah, well, it's not the best quality photos, so I hope it's a bit okay. And you can see the ball and the yarn in bed and the uh, rocket in the background. Um, the rocket did launch. It went up, it went straight, it went down, it landed on its butt and it exploded. That's the way we like it. With a test one, not with a real one. There were no people on board, anything. Um, yeah, it was fun to watch. And uh, if you have a chance, uh, watch the footage from SpaceX. I will see if I can find a link to it so I can add it to the description box. And yeah, with that, I guess I'm gonna start winding the yarn and I'm gonna spin up my floof today. And I will see you back tomorrow. Wanna say bye bye, Binks? No, no. Okay, then I will say it.